So we're at the culmination of our trip. Now we've gone to Rocky Mount, then Tarboro. You're going to end up right here in Scotland Neck at Sylvan Heights Waterfowl Bird Park. We changed the name. So it's Sylvan Heights Bird Park. Sylvan Heights Bird Park. <laughs> And I'm with Brent. Brent, thanks for letting us come it's here my today. pleasure. Thanks for coming out. And uh, it's a very unique facility. And I know that kind of shocked you. A lot of people are still getting used to the yeah. name change. We've actually been open since October of 2006. Our focus is waterfowl, as you'll see, ducks, geese, and swans from around the world. We are the largest waterfowl park in the world. Wow. With over 2,000 birds, 200 species, there's over 150 of these that are ducks, geese, and swans. We have all eight species of swan. 30 species of geese and over 100 species of ducks. Amazing. And in the last five years, because we've a bird place, we've actually acquired other species. And now we're actually one of the largest bird parks in the country with all those birds. So back in October of last year, we decided we want to get more people here and we want to educate them about waterfowl. But to yeah. do that, the word waterfowl had to disappear for the marketing. So now we call ourselves Sylvan Heights Bird Park. But we're still focused on conservation, education, and research of the waterfowl. Duck, so how, as far as a footprint, how big is the, is the, is the property? The park is about 18 acres. Um, majority of it has these continentally themed aviaries. So you go through North America, South America, Australia, Eurasia, because a lot of the same birds there. And then we even have a wetland area with a blind you can go in, lift little slats, and see what's in the nature really? natural area. We have a, um, one of the only handicap accessible L, uh, tree houses in the state. It's 20 feet overlooking a wetland, so you can actually push a stroller or a wheelchair into the tree house. Oh, that's cool. And uh, we have a live bee exhibit in our restroom area. <laughs> so, that keeps, <laughs> keeps people from staying in there too long. Yeah, the bees are pretty contained, but what it was is when we built that um, three years ago, we had an open area in between the men's and the women's. So we said, let's do something with it. So we put a live bee exhibit in, we put a poison dart frog exhibit, and we have geckos in there. So it gives people something to do while they're in there. And I always <laughs> laugh when we do a tour or people are just in the park just visiting. And then I say, oh, go visit the restroom area because we have something That else. is really cool. <laughs> So you're open Monday through? Well, well, not Monday. We're open Tuesday through Sunday. The only days we're closed are Mondays except for Labor Day and Memorial Day. Okay. Year round. Wow. So we're open Tuesday through Sunday year round. Uh, cost of admission is very fair. It's only $9 for adults, $7 for that seniors, and $5 for children. And if you're a member, you can get into us for the year, the North Carolina Zoo, all three aquariums, or in the Nature Center, and it supports the work we're doing in conservation. That's cool. And the best part is, if you visit the place and you like it, you can deduct the admission from a membership. So you can't go wrong there. <laughs> yeah, check it out. So you're going to give us a little tour around? Yeah, that'd be my pleasure. Let's go look around. Those swans that don't seem to ever be putting their heads up, must be, <laughs> or the mute swan, there we go. They're the quintessential swan. This is the state bird of Hawaii. And it's, it's been an endangered species being on a small island. We're in the treehouse right now. That's right. Which is, honestly, it, it's, it's almost like you walk out here and it's like, <sighs> yeah, it's like a very relaxing thing. And we're kind of, you know, we're going through this area and then into the um, continental exhibits. But that's what I tell people is, and, and you, there's benches throughout in here and stuff. It's just to come, sit down, enjoy nature, hear the frogs, hear the birds, hear our source cranes that sound like they're in Jurassic Park. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a really neat little section, and uh, it does get people to kind of appreciate what we have in our own backyard, too. Yeah. And that's what we hope, is, is you see all these exotic species, but at the same time, you realize, you know, we've got a lot of really cool stuff, too. And so hopefully more people, once they visit here, they might go explore and see what else is in mm -hmm. North Carolina. There are, this is one of the fun exhibits. This, there's three species of flamingo in here. That is one big beak. You just, if you want to, you just feel the back. It's just like a rain jacket. It's very smooth. 